got married and we figured New Zealand is too far, San Francisco, where I grew up is too far, we'll stay in the middle of the way. So this is where we stay and raise our families. And before I turn over the mic to Pua, uh, I'd like to ask Pua, Pua afterwards, if you introduce your family, if we can have some words from Pua Dave to share. Excuse me. Share some words of encouragement to Nadia, I mean to uh, <laughs> Margie, and to uh, there's uh, too many girls in our family. And, uh, I don't know who's more happier, Margie or me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you know Margie and Tua, they're kind of shy. So how they met up is beyond me. And uh, we sent her all the way over there to Utah to get a fresh start. And uh, how they bumped into each other and eventually became uh, friends enough to go to the temple. It's a wonderful blessing to our family. And uh, you know, at certain points in our life, everything that meant to me and myself and my wife was our children. And then at some point that changed and the priority became for grandchildren. So for our grandchildren, our wish was to make sure that they were in a home where there was both a mom and a dad and eventually get sealed in a temple. And uh, you know, we certainly make mistakes in our lives, but with the power of forgiveness and repentance, we can do things right. And uh, I'm glad that they were able to go through the temple today to be sealed all the time and all eternity. Can't wait till the rest of their children are able to seal to each other. So that's been you know, a wonderful memory for us today. And uh, my happiest moment is to have Fu and our family. And uh, uh, the best advice I can give to them is stay strong in the gospel. And the uh, best advice my father gave me was when he said, the best gift you can give to your children is to love their mother. And, uh, and that's probably the advice I can give to Fu. Thank you for doing that for me. And now I'd like to turn the time over to Fua to introduce his families. And then if you can turn the time over to Uncle Dave. And after that, we'd like to uh, ask uh, Sia's daughters to come up and do their musical number for us. And then I'd also like to ask my other daughter, Megan Crowell, to come up here and do a dance. Um, you can do it, whatever, Tahitian or Hawaiian. Fua. They have it on the tables or something. Ceilings and marriage have been, uh, that we just had. Um, to introduce my family, I had the opportunity to be raised by uh, a lot of different people. And so, mom and dad kind of turned into, or I was supposed to kind of turned into mom and dad for me growing up. Uh, My dad, who uh, I, I grew up with in California, he, he passed away just last week. Um, a lot of the 
the, these next names are cousins, but they're like my siblings. Um, started from the oldest is Kalimi, and she's married to Ken Numa. And, and Kalimi would like to stand Ken, to represent her family. But she has three kids, and um, and I, I've, I've been living with her for the past three years in Utah. Um, with uh, yeah, with her and her family, which has been great, having her there and helping me. Um, from oldest to youngest, next is Lisi. She is right here. So she's a school teacher at Claudia Elementary. And, um, and then there's <coughs> Chelsea. And her family, Cha over there. Josh is in somewhere. And Suesi in the front over here. He's married to Sarai and they have three girls expecting the ne uh, one in a month about. A boy finally for them. Uh, then there's Talai. Talai, everybody.
And if Marjorie messes up, that's okay, because I'm the better dancer anyways. <laughs>